Bagel in the morning is the ultimate breakfast for me. They are just good. And when they are homemade, filled with all your love and active without yeast and oil, they are more satisfying. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's vlog I am going to show my own version of bagel without egg, yeast and oil. So in goes 2 cups of all purpose flour along with 1 teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. You can use ordinary salt as well. And in goes 3 teaspoons of baking powder. I have added baking powder not baking soda. Just remember. Now give it a good mix. If you are going to make savory donuts, you can uh, season them with fenugreek leaves that is kasuri methi or oregano. And here goes one small finely chopped onion. This would be around one fourth cup. Now again give it a good mix. You may skip onions if you are going to have the bagels with jam or peanut butter jelly. And in goes 2 cups of thick curd. Now roughly knead the dough. We want our dough to be sticky and gooey. So there is no need to knead this dough for long. Just combine the ingredients well and it should be soft and gooey or else you may end up having hard and dry donuts. So this is the tip to prepare the soft and chewy bagels don't need for much time <laughs> so just combine it together and you may add little more of all-purpose flour that is maida if required but the dough should be gooey so it is almost done and I felt it little runny so I'll be adding little more of maida and in goes some chili flakes as my curd was little runny it was thin not that thick so I just added one fourth more cup of all-purpose flour and just combine it with the help of my hands my hands are clean and dry don't worry the dough will stick to your hand but that is the consistency that we require for our donuts so you need not have to worry it should stick to your hands so as this dough doesn't contain any oil in it so I have not greased my hands before kneading it. You just need to combine the dough and now I will be taking out this dough onto my kitchen surface or else you can take it out on a pastry board as I am doing. So just, just take it out and spread some dry flour. So that it doesn't stick to the board and here i'm going to divide this dough into eight equal parts out of two cups of all-purpose flour that is maida i'll be having eight donuts out of this much quantity of the flour so just follow the instructions and you'll end up having soft chewy and yummy do uh, donuts or you can say the bagels i'm going to have it with steamed veggies and veg aloo tikki as a filling for my bagels so here i'm going to divide this dough into eight equal parts 
as shown. It simply took me in total 20 minutes starting from the preparation to the finished bagels as they are so simple and less time consuming. And here I'm going to roughly roll it into a ball. And now we are going to make a hole between the center of this ball and this is the way how I'm going to do that just follow the instructions spread some dry flour place the balls on the dusted surface and here you can observe the dough is quite sticky and soft it is sticking to my hands it should be like this only curd or yogurt in these bagels give them a very unique taste and they are simply yummy as such so i'm done with all the eight parts i have made eight balls out of the dough and now I am going to make a hole in the center and this is the way how I am going to do it just follow the instructions now dust the surface on which we are going to work with the bagels take the ball and insert a cylindrical rod or back off your spatula like this dust the spatula as well with the flour and follow the instructions or else you can uh, use an object like this yes we are done so here as you can observe, you can see that the surface of a bagel is quite rough, so you need not have to worry. This is the way we are going to make our bagels. It should be like this only. So similarly, I will be doing with the rest of the balls. And I have preheated my oven at 180 degrees centigrade. And my bagels are ready and I'm going to brush the surface with milk or you can do it with egg which is called egg wash just apply some milk or egg on the top and here we are going to dress our bagels with some sesame seeds red jalapenos and some cheese this is entirely optional you can experiment with few other veggies like uh, olives jalapenos oregano or anything of your choice but 
here i am just sprinkling some sesame seeds over the top and some red jalapenos and cheese on the rest of the bagels and here i have just added some red chili flakes as well and this part is my all time favorite part i just love dressing my bagels my cakes and my dishes it just gives me a beautiful feeling a soothing kind of feeling when i dress up my food it's a stress buster for me and yes here i have just added some diced cheese and i'll be adding red jalapenos you can add olives green jalapeno gherkins or oregano so just be experimental this is the savory version of bagels if you want to have these bagels uh in your breakfast and you want to have it with jam just skip the onions in that case and make the plain bagels so my oven is preheating at 180 degrees centigrade and how beautiful they are looking and now i'm going to pop up these bagels at 180 degrees centigrade just for 10 to 15 minutes the top of these bagels will turn into brownish color and how beautiful and mouth watering they are looking right now isn't it so they have risen so well as you can see this is of just after 10 minutes and on the other hand here i have some veggies i have broccoli potato and some mushrooms and i have steamed them and on the other hand i have taken a wok i have just added some olive oil with some crushed garlic in it just saute it for a while and in goes some steamed veggies you can add beans carrots as many vegetables as you want this is entirely optional and just top up with some salt and pepper over it and saute for 2 minutes on high and yes or sauteed steam veggies are done this is my side dish with the with the bagels and on the other hand here i have some veggie burger tikkis so i'm going to air fry them and here i have some onion tomato ketchup and mayonnaise i'm just going to make a sauce and yes i have also added some tandoori mayonnaise in it you can add any sauce of your choice and here i'm going to cut the bagels into half how spongy and soft these bagels are just spread that sauce on one side and some cream cheese spread on the other with some lettuce and the tikki and yes we are good to go and this is the simple version i have just added some cream cheese and mayo with some lettuce and tomatoes with salt and pepper you you can add any toppings of your choice just be experimental with it and yes this was my layout for my breakfast and yes we are good to go hope you are going to like my recipe and yes do let me know in the comment section below how it came out i'll be waiting for your feedback and until my next vlog stay home stay safe and take good care of yourself and enjoy homemade good food bye bye thanks for watching my video and here i have some options that you can have with the bagels and yes if you are new to my channel then please like subscribe and share my channel bye bye